Hi everybody, how are you boys and girls? We want to welcome you to our lesson number four, Builders Class, Adventurers Club, New Life SDA Church. With me is uh, Esther Pendock, a new wave to the boys and girls. Thank you, Esther. And I'm teacher Naftali. So before we start, can we all pray? Esther, you can pray. Let's our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this program in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Now, boys and girls, do you remember our Adventurer's Pledge, our Adventurer's Law, and our Adventurer's Song? I'm going to invite Esther, recite with her even as she does that. Esther, can you take us through the Adventurer's Pledge? Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Je Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. We are adventurers at home, at school, at play. We are adventurers. We are learning every day to be honest, kind, and true, to be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurers. Thank you. Thank you, Esther, for that uh, presentation. Viewers, boys and girls, that is uh, our basic part of our basic requirements as a club in Adventurers. That is the pledge, the law, and the song. Now, our, for this particular lesson, our verse or our memory text is based from the book of Luke, Luke chapter 16 and verses 10. Luke chapter 16 and verses 10 it says he who he who is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much he who is faithful in very little is faithful also in much boys and girls the bible is saying this that uh, if we can be faithful in the little things, the little responsibilities we may be given by our parents, our teachers, it could be at home, it could be at school, wherever we are, then you can as well be faithful with much. That is a very uh, profound and uh, good promise from the Bible and indeed from God himself. So before we continue, I want once again to invite Esther for a special song entitled We Are His Hands. We are His hands to touch the world around us. We are His feet to go where He may lead. And we are His love burning in the darkness. We are His love shining in the night we are his eyes to see the need in others we are his voice to tell of his return and we are his love burning in the darkness we are his love shining in the night Thank you, Esther. Boys and girls, in today's lesson, we are going to be learning about an award in builders called the beads. I don't know, boys and girls, whether you can see uh, some uh, crafts here. And this crafts is about beads. Today, we're going to be learning about beads. Now, boys and girls, a bead is a small object with a hole in it and uh, you can easily be able to attach a string on it and out of that you can make some decorations, you can do so many other things with it. Now, the materials that we need when we are making a bead, 
the way I have mentioned you can uh, use a, um, a string you need small objects these small objects could be seed it could be the wood it could be stones it could be plastics it could be seeds that you can find even in our homes at the kitchen and stuff now before we even start this uh, award i want to tell you boys and girls, girls about some very interesting facts about beads now in north kenya the women in north kenya they are fond of making beads and out of that they're able to decorate their clothes nicely they're able to decorate their bodies nicely with the beads the same with people in south africa specifically people called the zulus now the zulus boys and girls they are also fond of making beautiful items out of beads and you can easily be able to know whether somebody is a boy or somebody is a girl by simply looking at the kind of bead that person is uh, is putting on or wearing if the bead is a triangle upright triangle definitely that is a, a girl if the bead boys and girls is such that it is a, a triangle that is uh, upside down and you're in Zulu you are able to know that this is a boy now if it is a girl and the girl has been uh, and the girl has been married this is this is how the bead will look like boys and girls if it is uh, a boy and the boy has been married this is how the bead looks like so in africa and in also in so many other parts of the world beads are very very uh, important in their life uh, the other word for bead is actually prayer we have some denominations that some religions that uh, use the beads to be able to count the number of prayers they are having probably in a season probably in a month or probably even in a day now boys and girls uh, we can as well also be able to make so many things out of beads we can uh, make uh, a nice decoration on our clothes probably with our names on using beads we can decorate our 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 bodies all our shoes with beads now as a club we this particular lesson is encouraging us to be able to come up with something out of beats so boys and girls what you're going to do you are going to talk to your parents your mommy or your daddy or your uncle your your aunt or your big sister or your uh, your big brother to help you come up with uh, an, 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 a nice project like uh, what we did here and uh, if you can see the word le uh, reads love we have uh, beads using carrots we just cut the carrots and out of the carrots we make some holes there and in the hole we tie some string and uh, out of it we have come up with a very nice uh decoration and very nice uh craft that we can even give somebody so boys and girls we want you to think about what can i do could i be using uh something like seeds could i be using something like uh carrots could i be uh, buying some beads maybe from the market using uh, plastics uh, beads and stuff but you need to come up with something with the guidance of your parents now boys and girls there's also something we have made which you can also do out of the beads these are plastic beads we are able to have or to make different shapes a shape that has 
four corners you can see the corners are in white one two three four a shape that has uh, four sides one two three four is called what boys and girls you are right that shape is called a square now we can also make another shape out of the beads made out of beads inside this particular bead there's a black string and on the corners we have plastic beads which are pink in color this shape has how many shapes one two three four five sides with how many corners one two three four five so boys and girls can you guess what this is can you guess sure you're right that is called a pentagon a pentagon has five sides we also have another shape here and this shape is also made out of beads and uh, this shape has six sides one two three four five six how many corners one two three four five six boys and girls can you guess what name this shape is you're right boys and girls the name is hexagon hexagon has six corners has six sides what about a shape that has seven sides one two three four five six seven with how many corners one two three four five six seven what shape is this boys and girls heptagon. you're right the name is heptagon heptagon has a, a, a shape with seven sides and seven corners boys and girls you can continue making beads out of uh, uh, out of the string you have at home with uh, some beads here these ones are in, in uh, they're pink in color can we count how many corners one two three four five six seven eight how many sides one two three four five six seven eight can you guess the name of these shapes boys and girls yes you're right the right name is octagon now we have another shape here boys and girls the second last it's a little bit bigger it has nine sides and nine corners can you guess what it is you're right boys and girls the right name is nonagon it has nine sides and it also has nine corners lastly but not least boys and girls we have the last shape here it has ten sides and ten corners can you guess what it is boys and girls you are right the right name is decagon decagon so boys and girls we are leaving you with an assignment we're leaving you with a project go think about it with your parents what item are you going to come up with using beads and you are going to share that item with somebody probably a neighbor probably uh, somebody you you uh, could be a friend uh, something like this you prepare your project and you tell the other person what you have learned about beads what you have learned about beads so at this moment i will invite esther to help us sing also one of the songs you're going to be learning and the title of the song says cross over would you walk by on the other side when you saw a loved one's train would you walk by on the other side or would you watch and pray cross over the road my friend ask the lord his strength to lend his compassion has no end cross over the road 
Would you walk by on the other side when you saw a loved one's train? Would you walk by on the other side or would you watch and pray? Cross over the road, my friend. Ask the Lord his strength to lend. His compassion has no end. Cross over the road. Thank you, Esther. Boys and girls, in our lesson today also, we are going to be learning about another award entitled Astronomy. Boys and girls, Astronomy is the study of the heavenly bodies or things. It could be the sun, it could be the moon, it could be the stars. Boys and girls, a person who grows up to be studying about the heavenly bodies, we call them astrologists. Now, boys and girls, did you know that we have also people mentioned in the Bible who were stargazers? In the book of Genesis, chapter 15, verses 5, the Bible tells us that Abraham was uh, directed to look up in the heavens and count the number of stars. In the New Testament, boys and girls, we are also told of the wise men. They were directed by the star to be able to find a newborn baby, Jesus. So boys and girls, uh, in our lesson today, we also have an assignment, a homework that I believe strongly that you're going to do of going out and looking at the, star, at the sky, study what God had created, what God has created in the heavens. And uh, as we do that, boys and girls, we need to be able to differentiate between number one, a star. Boys and girls, we need to be able also to differentiate between a star and a planet. Number three, a constellation. Boys and girls, a star is a heavenly body, big, 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 with some light in it, like the sun. And we also have so many other names of different stars. It is your homework, boys and girls. Can you be able to know the various names of different stars. Boys and girls, a planet is a body in the heaven that moves, moves along the stars. Like for example, star Sun has about seven planets. It could be planet Earth, it could be planet Mars, it could be planet Neptune, it could be planet Saturn, it could be planet Plato, and so many other planets. So a planet moves along the stars. Now, boys and girls, a constellation is a group of stars. A group of stars, we call it a constellation. And I'm, I'm giving you this as I'm homework to you, can you be able to know the various names of different constellations that we are having in the heavenly bodies? Now, boys and girls, the other assignments that we're giving you with your parents, with your uncles and your aunties, or your big sisters and your big brothers, is to be able to either watch you can watch a video about, uh, it could be the stars, it could be the planets, it could be the moon. And also, boys and girls, uh, you need also to be able to take a photo of maybe the moonlight or the sunrise or the sunset. So if you will be able to do that, then you will have qualified to have completed our builders class Lesson number four. Thank you very much for your participation and I look forward to see you in our next lesson number five. 
So at this moment, we will finish with a song from Esther entitled A Happy, Happy Home. Thank you, boys and girls. God told us how to have a happy home, have a happy home, have a happy home. God told us how to have a happy home and live for Him each day. God said, obey your parents in the Lord, do just as they say, mind them every day. God said, obey your parents and you'll have a long life in my land. God said, be kind to others in your home, others in your home, others in your home. God said, be kind to others in your home and be happy every day. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.